All right. Why does 820-3330 not charge? First thing to do is see how many amps it's taking. So I plug it in, and there's a battery already in this MacBook. And it's taking 0.1 amps. 0.1 amps is not even enough to turn the damn thing on, much less charge it. All right. The first thing I'd like to do is check my PP bus. What voltage is my PP bus? Is my PP bus G3 hot or G3 not? This is why I couldn't get a real TV show with Vice. So I can measure my PP bus here on R6905 for the input of the Pepe 3V42 circuit. And we have 1.2 volts on my PP bus. That's no good. Let's see, what do I get on DCN? Kind of curious what I get there. Hey, okay, so the DCN is 18 volts, but the PP bus is 1.2. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is let's see if we have a short to ground on the PP bus. 6.23 million ohms. There's no short to ground, but our PP bus is not there. So let's take a look at the chip that's going to create our PP bus. The chip that's going to create our PP bus is going to be U7000. So this is where PP bus G3 hot is created, where U7000 is going to take the 18 volts from the adapter and send it to the system. It's going to take that 18 volts. These transistors will turn on, and then off, and then on, and then off, as the U7000 tells them to. So you'll get a spike of 18, and then zero. Spike of 18, and zero. Spike of 18, and zero. And through this magical coil, and with these capacitors to ground over here, what you get is an average out 12.56 volts. But let's take a look at what our U7000 looks like. U7000 can be found over here on the board. U7000 can also be found by heading to our website at store.rossmangroup.com. Head over to store.rossmangroup.com where you can find chips, tools, drivers, and more. With five stars on shopperapproved.com, you can't go wrong. Same day shipping from New York City, free shipping over $30 within the continental United States, and full compatibility listed for every chip that we sell. Simply type in ISL 6259 in the top, and it will automatically auto-complete and list everything that people typically search for, as well as show you chips. You can simply click the first one that shows up, and it'll bring you right there. Because of our fast servers, there's no waiting. And if you buy in quantity, you'll even save. Over here, it'll list the compatible boards. It'll tell you what the chip is for. And we have high-quality photos, so you can compare it to what's on your motherboard. Don't delay. Bye today. With that, let's go back and see what it looks like on our board. That chip looks fine. Nothing looks wrong with that chip. It's a lovely looking little chip. Why don't you work? Why don't you work? Much sadness. Well, the first thing we have to do is check out the current sensing circuit. We have to see the current sensing circuit, which is make sure the resistance between pins 27 and 28 and pins 17 and 18 is what I would expect it to be given the resistances in those areas. So this is a current sensing resistor. There's going to be a small voltage drop across it. The ISL 6259 is going to read the, the drop across it, but it's only going to read the drop across it if the pathway between the current sensing resistors and the chip are intact. So let's check that out. Pin 27, 28. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sleepy. Pin 27 and 28. Oh, I want to go home and see my kitty. But I can't go home and see my kitty. I have to work and fix MacBook. MSI 3.2. Alright, so the current sensing circuit is working as it's supposed to. What if it... Let's check everything else around this chip. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, let's see if we're getting the charger DC in. On pin... Two. We get a green light, but it's that green light's not producing anything. Pin two is going to be over here. And we get 15 volts. That's actually pretty low. That's quite a bit of drop from the 18.5 volts that my power supply should be putting out. So we got a couple of options here. So I was checking for PP DC, charger DCN. 
This is where the charger up here from adapter is going to go to my ISL to power it. Now that's 15 volts. Is a 20 ohm resistor and a diode supposed to cause a drop of three and a half volts? I don't think so. Is my resistor dead? Is my ISL6259 shorting that to ground because my ISL is dead? One way to find out. We're going to check on R7005, which can be found over here, and see if that's actually the 20 ohms that it's spec to. And it is. And we're gonna s and the diode's probably good because the diode's always good. Which means the chip may be pulling it down. Let's remove that chip that might be pulling our results down and see if we can fix it with the new ISL6259, courtesy of store.rossmangroup.com. Don't delay. Buy today. Help support our shipping staff that we just hired so that we don't have to fire them. We actually hired a customer service person. In addition, a customer service person plus a shipping person for store.rossmangroup.com. So even the store has several, many employees, but now we have two employees who solely deal with nothing but store.rossmangroup.com. Just store it all, all the day. What's on their mind is store.rossmangroup.com. Shipping little capacitors, shipping quicks, shipping crests. That's what they do. And they're supported through your generosity. When you decide to purchase your Quick, your Crest, your ISL, your LP8550, your NXP610A3B, from store. Fuck. I just knocked everything. Son of a cunt, bitch, bastard, shit, fuck, goddammit. Oh, that sucks. Fuck me. What the f... Mother... Piece of shit, fucking asshole, bastard. I knocked everything off on the bottom. Don't shill while you're soldering anymore. No shilling with soldering at the same time. Oh, son of a bitch. Dude, I mean, I never even know. I love my kitty. My kitty is so cute. It's a kind kitty as well. Okay, we got some nice flux there, so I can do that. Now that one 
resistor that I forgot about. And as you can see, PP bus is now G3 hot, and we have a fan that's spinning. If I were to measure my PP bus, my PP bus is going to be a happy 12.56 volts. Look at that, 12.55 volts in our PP bus. So what was going on was that we were missing PP bus G3 hot. The customer said the computer would work off a battery, but it would not charge the battery, and when the battery was discharged, it would no longer work, but it would not charge a new battery. So, what do we do? Well, if it worked off a battery, PP bus G3 hot, which is supplied by the battery if the charger's not plugged in, can't be shorted to ground. So we ruled that out as a possibility. And we did check for a short to ground just in case, but well, that wasn't going to be the case. We checked the current testing circuitry around the ISL6259 chip, aka U7000, which is required in order for the ISL6259 to create our PP bus G3 hot. And that wasn't out of whack, so it wasn't the resistors of the traces. We then checked charger DC in, which was the charger is going to be supplying power to the ISL6259 through a resistor called R7020, which is a resistor that is going to limit the current that goes to the ISL6259. On the other side of that resistor, we had a voltage drop from 18.5 volts to 15 volts, which meant either A, the resistor was dead, or B, the ISL6259 was pulling it down. After taking a careful look, the, uh, the resistor was 20 ohms, but the ISL6259 appeared to be pulling down that voltage. And as a result, of it, pull and it was pulling down that voltage because it was bad. We replaced it with one, and it worked. So if you need an ISL6259, you can buy it at store.rosmangroup.com. Don't delay. Buy today. And we're moving on to the next motherboard. So next motherboard in our list, and uh, we'll go from there.